This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, Eve shows respect to Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj acted on the barbershop and you know she re respected how she showed up and really treated it like uh, a real job. You know, some people show up and they're like, oh, I'm a star already and everything. She says, I live through what happens when women project their own insecurities onto other women. Um, it happened at the start of my career and continued in waves as my fame grew. I wasn't going to be that woman to someone else. But in order to do that, I had to physically and mentally prepare myself. Nikki and I were actually fine on set. We got along well and shot our scenes together with no problems. It was nothing like what I had expected. But again, I am thankful that I prepared myself for it. Whatever that means. I mean, it's just really... And then she says, uh, I'd see her write her songs on the bus between takes, hurrying off set to go hit some show dates over the weekend, then come right back on set for these 12 to 16 hour shoots, all while trying to hold it together in her personal life and her relationship. It was at that moment that I didn't envy her and I kind of wanted to give her a hug. I thought I was going to resent her and really I felt compassion. I remember being that person, the girl who felt like she had to do it all. Oh, okay, so, yeah. All right, anyways, let's move on from this. Um, So, Diddy and Cassie. Cassie had a friend named Tiffany Red, and she accuses Diddy of drugging her while they were together. Um, While she was in the house for a party. She says, uh, while co-creating Cassie's sophomore album, I was degraded by Sean Combs, deceived by him and his team and record labels about the music being released. I was exposed to Diddy's abuse of Cassie and others in her circle, and I unknowingly consumed something laced without my consent at his Homely Hills home studio while writing for Cassie back in 2017. I'll never forget screaming, what is in this? I knew instantly after smoking that joint that something was wrong. I got away with the, the grace of God that night, but I'm haunted by the things I can't remember about the evening. Okay. Everybody's piling on on this one, huh? I saw WAC 100 made some comments on something, too. Let's see if we can listen to part of that. There was the question of, like, why didn't Diddy run? Let's see. Uh, hold on one sec. Nah, nah, but whack. They had a decimated. They broke off the uh, serial number. Why would they have some sh okay. Nah, nah, but whack. They um, and they ain't family. Unlicensed. Yeah, that's real shit. Mo most niggas gonna keep some guns in their house. Guns for dirty that's shit. That's just a fact. Two reasons. Well, every nigga with a regular gun want to throw away gun anyway. Two reasons. Either his kids had his homeboy shit over there, or he on some other shit. I don't know. And you better yourself even further by doing that. That's so how long before EFN and Nori out of a job? What's going on with Revolt? They they contract been up. Yeah, they're not even with him no more. Hey, whack. And did, did, did he sold all his yeah. shares in Revolt Go anyway? You right. Okay, so yeah, did Nori. <laughs> Nori's compromised. He got a Maybach from Diddy. He got, he got that. He got that young Miami treatment. He might have spent some nights over at the house. Drink is probably going to end up. Oh, I know that. Nah, I know Listen. what you're saying. Diddy telling everything. Oh, we're going to have a, a Epstein 2 point. We feel like Diddy's stupid. A lot of people think that Diddy's going to take, you know. The Epstein route. I don't know. You know, like it's possible. We'll we'll see. You'll see that that then at one of the court hearings that he shows up to and see if he looks depressed. For not doing that shit. That's straight over there. Yeah. But if no, at that point, nigga, you know. Thoroughly, when we land back, then when you then land back, customs comes either either they come on the plane or you have to deplane and go into the private area. Thoroughly, when we land, you know that. And and and. And they do not check to nope, leave America. It's a pill number. Out the country. On whack, whack, up, whack, <laughs> whack. When we leave, okay, when we go out the country on private jets, 
they do not check our passports to no, leave up there. No, it's a fail number. They, they, yeah, so you could put whoever name on the manifest, right? You know that. And, 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 and they do not check. They only check thoroughly when we land back. Then, when you then land back. Customs comes either, either they come on the plane or you have to deplane and go into the private airport customs. Yeah, but the next airport you go to, it depends on the country. They could be thorough with the plane. So that's, I, I, nah. <sighs> I think if they would have seen him doing some movement, like he was finna get on a plane or something, they wouldn't have went and grabbed his ass. I don't they wasn't gonna, the let, that, they gonna let that nigga get up out of this country, bro. I don't think so. I'm gonna tell you this, bro. This real shit. When you playing with these types no, of no, niggas, no. listen to me. And I, you know, just cause you see a nigga in the house don't mean he can't get out that house. Bro. Oh, that's Hello? a fact. Niggas got Period. tunnels, niggas so got all kinds of shit. So listen, all he has to do is call his friend with a jet. Yeah, niggas got but all kinds of ways, bro, to get up out there. Yeah. Half these yeah. niggas' houses got tunnels going somewhere else. Come out there, jump on his boy's jet, out of there. Regular people, we go we go to the airport, we, <laughs> we get booked, We they check our passport to get on the plane. A private... They know they do not... Ch they look at your passport to get on the plane. They don't thoroughly check you yet. It doesn't seem like this person travels out of the country. They check your passport when you land because you got to go through intake. A jet that is going even to Timbuktu and two. They just check to make sure you got a passport when you get on the plane. They don't want people flying into the country and stuck there. We got to get send them back. If you're leaving America, ain't no customs, ain't nobody coming to check the pilot. The pilot comes to check your passport, if anything. And all they're doing is checking to see if you have a passport, a valid passport. So when you land, you go through their immigration. But, bruh. And if that nigga know you, and you tip Period. it real good, yeah, so that's what that I said, no but more. bruh. But bruh, you could pay the pilot, bruh. Yeah, like, listen, if you back to see family and shit now. Okay, anyways, that's a waste of time. Um. I also saw Charlemagne react to something. Let me see if I can pull that up. Charlemagne, guess where he goes? Well, it's a lot of trauma Diddy was running through, and that's why he was hurting people and doing this and that. Charlemagne, stop trying to sell your next book on, you know, here's a lot of mental trauma that he's escaping from. And then, uh, just shut up. Yo, Charlemagne always goes with that, so if he ever gets caught up with that girl again that accused him of taking advantage of her back in the day, he could say, I was going through a lot of trauma, man, and her people, her people. Why don't you go pay that girl some money? You know what I mean? Like, you, Charlemagne keeps shaming other people when he's not the most stand-up guy. I'm, I, I just get tired of that. Like, let's just, just be who you are, man. Stop pretending like you're some all high and mighty. Bro, you're just like everybody else, man. You got, you got your issues. Usher says his account was hacked and y'all ran with it. Bro, you deleted 7,000 tweets, bro. What hacker's gonna go in there and delete 7,000 tweets? Same thing happened to Pink. Well, who's gonna do that? Why? Why? What's, the, what's the purpose of deleting that many tweets? There isn't. Come on, man. So let's stop. Let's stop with the cap. Okay, let's stop. It's not true. Usher deleted a bunch of tweets today and then blamed it on a hacker. Um, TR Marie supposedly is going to be linked in this Diddy case somehow. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Cat Williams says POV when you're trying to leave a Diddy party. and He's just enticing you to stay. <laughs> I'll be sure. He says, you guys said I was crazy. I don't look so crazy now. He kept he kept warning people about Diddy. Kept saying he felt like the Kim Porter thing. There was a bit deeper there. He did not like uh, the grimy ways Diddy would uh, try to silence people and take advantage of people. Uh, didn't like people on his payroll with the shenanigans. He didn't like his kid being around Diddy. You know, this is Kim Porter's ex too. I'll be sure his um, son hangs out with Diddy all the time. He predicted everything. I'll be sure he did predict everything. It's a po series of posts throughout the years. And Macklemore, we'll end it with this. Macklemore 
goes on stage and he says, F America. That's his new thing to say, F America. Then leave, bro. Because everybody else wants to be here. Okay? Like, yeah, you might not like some things about, yeah, you're not going to like things about a lot of countries. A lot of people don't like things about any country they live in and how the politics is ran and everything. This guy is saying F America because we're not getting involved in, in, in the, the the way the way we're involved in the Palestine Palestinian and uh, Israel conflicts Gaza and all that it's like dude this guy get this guy is the biggest he just wants to show people he's down you know like remember the Kendrick Lamar thing he won and texted Kendrick Lamar I'm sorry I won bro I feel guilty like dude because you know you're a fr- your your music sucks bro. The only reason it took off is because the label shoved it down everybody's throat. And people still listen to it for some reason. Macklemore's horrible. We we shop going going Goodwill. What is it? Was that song where he's talking about going to thrift shop? I'm thrift shop. You know, it's like he sucks, bro. Like, bro, this guy wears leopard. He's bro. Macklemore's the worst. Um. So sick of people. Like, if you don't like where you live, you can leave. You know, <laughs> it's possible. Uh, but he won't. He won't. You know, he thinks he's cool and standing up for something. And all he is is uh, what's it called? He's just placating everybody. Like, oh come on, guys, I'm down with this and that. It's like he's a cornball. Man, what's a call when you do that? Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one.